Do you yep. think you managed uh, to convey uh, the key issues and messages to the uh, to your? To, to the I think I the key message I'm always trying to 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 actually hope that Singaporeans will understand. Uh, it's a question of every government must be uh, any political uh, any any government must be examined based on certain very fundamental principles to have a good government to have a good process of government. And this I've repeated many times to you all. Because for anything, you must have transparency. You cannot just assume people understand. You must be open about it. Right? Then you 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 you, you have must have independence when you want to say do appointments and so on. This clarity is so important now. Then people will will, will trust you. Uh, this transparency I I feel is so important, huh? So these are the messages I'm trying to, and I, I get now with people asking me that, you know, why is this happening? Why is that happening? So it's good. I think the message is coming across. So next time when you all become maybe politicians too, you got to ask questions, you know, if nobody asks questions, huh? this will become so sterile. So parliament will be so sterile. There'll be one voice on it. So what I'm hoping that when, if we get a chance going to parliament, I would expect the MPs have, they have got him to ask the right questions. Not just ask questions for the sake of asking questions, but to actually ask questions to delve further into the subject so that you can have full understanding and it will, then this will be reflected to the ground by all your media. So I think the country will be better. There will be more trust and that when you do things, I think it's easier. Next question. Sorry, Doc. So, you know, throughout this entire campaigning period, many parties have given different ideas about COVID-19. How do you think this election will help Singapore better tackle the problem? For me, I think this is a COVID-19 election. I, and I stressed it many times. So, if you don't manage COVID-19 uh, properly, there will be a lot of disruption that is beyond, beyond us. Why? Because that, if you don't manage the COVID-19 properly, there will be no confidence. No one wants to come to your place. Right? Where you talk about, why you they say, we want to get a job, but the investors are not coming. When they look at the situation here, and I'm worried, recently, yesterday, I saw the numbers are going up in the community spread. Don't take it too lightly. Because once the community spread starts, I think we'll be in big trouble. So if you don't create the confidence, don't create the trust. Who is going to come? Your tourists are going to come. If WHO were to post it into the whole world, say, wow, this, this Singapore got so many cases still per day. The borders will be closed. Your supply chain will also be disturbed, right? Your, and whatever you want to do, because that is not well controlled, huh? I think it's going to be work very hard on us. So that's why right. if the if the if the jobs are not coming, if we always we are thinking of the top down approach. We have to quickly spend part of our reserve, if I if you ask me, to build up our local talent here. This is the best opportunity to see how creative Singaporeans are, how innovative Singaporeans are. This are you have, like now you're your coop up in in the house. How are we gonna manage those people who are working in the house? What kind of support you want to give those people working in the house? And don't forget, if this job can be done at home, there's no reason why they, would, they want to do it in Singapore. They want to do it in another place. So this, this, this you must understand. It's a chain reaction, you know. Your global activity is so affected by your not controlling COVID-19.